I want to take a picture. Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lisa Proactive Mom. Today's video is about balance. Many parents don't know that balance is connected to their child's learning process and emotional stability. Stay with me till the very end of this video and you will learn how to assess your child's difficulties and what kind of exercises can help. I will help you. Little kids are expected to be a little bit clumsy, right? However, balance issues in children often may not be taken seriously. So who is at high risk? Child who was born prematurely, has low muscle tone, developmental delays, who can't sit still in the chair and distracted easily by surrounded noises and peers, who tends to push, show and invade personal space and social interactions, falls easily, trips often and has difficulties with writing and sports activities. Let's learn some facts. First, our balance system works closely with the emotional centers in the brain that regulate fear and behavior. Poor balance can trigger anxiety of falling and getting hurt, so child simply may start avoiding challenging physical activities and sport classes. This child may be prone to meltdowns, be oversensitive and may need frequent repetition of information before it sticks. Second. When balance system doesn't work properly, it affects our ability to understand spatial awareness. That means that kids with poor balance, they have tendency to invade another's personal space and bump into things. He just bumped into me in the hallway. Third very important fact, Balance is a fundamental tool for controlled positions like sitting. That's why undeveloped balance skills lead to poor academic performance. In simple words, child needs so much energy and focus just to calm his body and sit still in the chair, so there is just no much space left in the brain for listening and learning. What can I do to help? <laughs> Tip number one, rule out hearing and vision problems. Good hearing and vision are essential for maintaining balance, focus, coordination and processing information. Tip number two, kids need to move and do it often. So just take them outside to parks, to playgrounds and let them explore nature. Allow them to climb up the trees and rocks, walk on a fallen tree as a balance beam, to walk on stones, sand, all uneven textures are great for sensory and balance system, encourage them to run down the hill as fast as they can, great exercise for core stability and overall balance, and of course uh, going up, up and down the stairs, sliding, swinging, perfect activities for coordination, balance and spatial awareness. Tip number three is balance bike. It's a wonderful tool. It gives independence much earlier than pedal bike. With feet on the ground, kids feel freedom and confidence to ride and explore. Body works really hard on balance bike and eventually your kid will gain a better balance, coordination and gross motor skills. I highly recommend to start with Strider and now we use Boom 2. Uh, we just took out the pedals, we use it as a balance bike and hopefully soon we'll put the pedals and my son will pedal really really fast. Okay. Next, tip number four is standing on one foot activities. So just encourage your kid to stand on one foot as a flamingo, count till 10 and then another foot, jump on one foot like five or 10 times, another foot, try to implement different toys. I highly recommend launching the rocket game. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, and traditional hopscotch game. You can play it indoor or outdoor. I personally bought a hopscotch carpet from online lecture store. Great quality. It comes with two bean bags. My son enjoys this uh, almost every day. Really good activity for kids who are struggling to stand on one foot. Tip number five is creating a fun obstacle course for your kid at home. 
You can use a balance beam, you can use a different sized foam wedges, cushions, pillows and all other kind of things uh, with an even texture that you can find at home. Tip number six is balance board. This great tool that you can find easily on Amazon. Ask your child to stand on balance board, shift weight from side to side, squat and stand back in the upright standing position. Pass the ball. Line left, so you're more stable. Yes, one, two, three. Good job, don't fall. Keep balance, keep balance. Yes, keep surfing, keep surfing. Keep surfing, keep surfing. You're a good surfer. Whoa. Like Lilo and Steve. <laughs> Number seven is simple exercise for core stability. Forward lunge with one knee on the ground, count till ten, and then change the leg. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Also, I encourage you to practice with your kids bear crawl and crab walk. Essential exercises for stability, coordination, and balance. And number eight, the last one, is toughest act of balancing is just standing still. Ask your kid to freeze and stand still for 30 seconds or even one minute. If it's too easy, try it with closed eyes. Every day you do a lot of things towards your child's development. But you may not think about building better balance system. It takes time, energy and effort. However, the payoffs are happier, more grounded, confident kids with improved social skills, better focus, comprehension and academic performance. Thank you for watching me today. Please like, subscribe and see you in my next videos. Bye bye!